Hello, everybody. <laughs> it's the day before Halloween, so I'm all dressed up recording this video. And in case you haven't figured it out, I am Cruella de Vil. <laughs> all right, let's get started, everybody. I will have to take off my gloves because otherwise I cannot type. So fortunately, I can't do the video with the gloves, even though that would be great. All right, so let's take off the gloves. Go ahead and open up Code Studio. Open up your notebook so you have it with you. And let's walk through lesson three. So if you're missing lesson three or you need to go back and do lesson three, here we are. This is the video for lesson three. All right, everybody. Yes, I'm going to do the whole video in costume today. All right. So go ahead and take a look at your notebook for lesson three. Make sure you read those instructions. Page 11. Lesson three. Code Studio. We're going to be doing bubbles four through nine, and we're going to skip bubbles one through three. Bubble 10 is going to be an optional challenge. All right. So again, we're going to start at bubble four. Go ahead and open up Code Studio. Go to bubble four. Bubble four. Let's go ahead and check it out and get started. Bubble four. Headings. Headings. Feel free to pause the video if you need to pause at any point. I'm just going to keep going through it. Okay. All right, headings. So far, you've organized your content into paragraphs. Another way HTML allows you to organize your code is by using headings. A heading is a short piece of text that goes at the top of a section of content, like a title. So a heading can be a title or a subtitle. Do this. Find the headings in the web page below and use the inspector tool to see the code that makes them. Make sure you and your partner agree on what the tags do. Change the code. Uh, ignore this one. You in the class or you and Ms. Mayurga um, agree on what the tags do. Change the code so that the drawing, so that drawing and two years matches the headings on the rest of the page. So let's go ahead and use the inspector tool to investigate this page. Turn inspector tool on. Click on the inspector tool right here. And if it's on, it'll turn white and it'll say on. When you hover over a piece of text of text it's going to oops I turned it off it's going to highlight the code that makes that text appear all right so let's take a look the title what tag do you notice soccer what tag do you notice five years what tag do you notice here this paragraph baking ten years this next paragraph and then drawing two years, and then we have a paragraph. So as you can see, we have new tags being introduced. H, H1, H2, H4, H2, H4. Our task is to change the code so that drawing and two years match the headings on the rest of the page. So we want drawing to look like baking and soccer. I'm gonna turn this off. We want drawing to look like baking and soccer and then we want two years to look like 10 years and five years all right so let's take a look at soccer and baking what's the code what's the tag that's being used to create this title soccer look at the tags baking what tag is being used i hope you thought out loud or in your head you thought h2 all right h2 as you can see we have h2 h2 in the code so drawing right now it's a paragraph tag we're going to change that to h2 go ahead and click h2 and make sure that the closing tag is the same h2 don't delete that backslash all right keep it there all right now let's look at the years two years we want it to look like 10 years and four years. What's the tag here? What's the tag that's showing up for five years and 10 years? I hope you said H4. All right, it is H4. Oops, sorry. It is H4. So we're going to go down to our code for two years and we're going to change that to H4. H4. And now, let me turn the inspector tool off. And now the page looks consistent right it matches the rest of the page go ahead and click finish go ahead and click finish 
just moving my face a little bit because the button is behind my face. All right, bubble five, bubble five, heading sizes. Headings can come in different sizes. In this page, there are six different sized headings, but they are all mixed up. Can you and your partner figure out how to fix them? Do this, use the inspector tool to figure out what makes the headings different sizes. Make sure you and the class, you and Ms. Mayorga, you and yourself, agree on what different heading tags do. Change the tags so that the headings are in order from biggest to smallest and the text says the correct size as in the picture below. So we want our page, our preview page, to look just like this, right? From biggest to smallest. Let's take a look. Using the inspector tool, let's investigate what's making, what's changing the size of the font, the font, the font size, the size of the text. What is changing the size of the text? What do you think? What's changing the size of the text? Think to yourself, think to yourself. All right, I hope you said something about the numbers in the tags. The numbers in the tags are what is changing the size of the text. So which one gives you the biggest text size? Which one gives you the biggest text size? Which H number? Which heading tag? Investigate, investigate. I hope you said H1. H1 is going to be the biggest size. So the first line should be H1. Let's go ahead and change that. There we go. And now let's take, look for the smallest. Let's look for the smallest. That's going to be this little, little word right here. And the tag that's next to that is H6, H6. So we want to go from one all the way down to six. All right, let's go ahead and change the rest of these tags. We already did H1. This is going to be H2. And then H3. And H4. H5 is already good. H6. Bam. Now we've got big, biggest, big, medium, big, medium, small, small, small. If your page, preview page, looks like this, then you're all good to go. Let's go ahead and continue on. Click Finish. Here is a quick check. Here's a quick check. Here we have a sample code. What will this look like in the preview screen? What will it look like in the preview screen? Is it the first one, second one, third one, fourth one? Go ahead and pause the video and think about what this code will produce. All right, welcome back. I hope, let's take a look. We know that H1 is the biggest. So now we know that the word bacon should be the biggest, which eliminates the first and second choice. So now we're left with the uh, first and fourth choice, I'm sorry. So now we're left with option, second option and third option. Let's take a look at our code again. Eggs has H3 and waffles has H6. Those are two different sizes. Eggs should be bigger than waffles. So let's go ahead and took. Okay, here they're the same size, so that's not right here. Second option is correct. Eggs is bigger than waffles. You can go ahead and click submit. It makes a little sound telling you that you are correct. Once you're finished, go ahead and continue on to bubble seven. Bubble 7 is a video, so go ahead and pause my video and watch the video on Bubble 7. Once it's over, come on back. All right, welcome back, everybody. Let's go ahead and continue on to Bubble 8. Bubble 8. So here, you're going to choose from the following activities. Choose one of these. I believe that's it. Yeah. Choose, choose one of these to work from. Choose one. Choose one or more. I'm going to walk through all of them just in case, depending on which one you picked, you can see all of them. I'll go ahead and start with A. We're going to practice debugging. We're going to practice fixing bugs in our computer. Let's go ahead and find the bug in this code. All right. Ooh, there's a lot of pink. What's going on here? Let's go ahead and go to line 11. That's where the pink shows up. 
and let's examine line 11. What is going on here? Go ahead and pause the video, examine line 11, and then come on back. All right. All right. Did you pause the video? Pause the video. Don't just wait for me to tell you. Pause the video. Correct it, and then double check your work with me. Okay. Hopefully, you found this period here. It should not be a period. It should be the greater than sign. All right. They didn't properly uh, type the tag here. So go ahead and delete the period and replace it with the greater than sign. And that's it. That's what was causing the rest of the text to be pink. Just a tiny little mistake. Let's go ahead and click finish. We're done with A. Now we're going to go on to B. You don't have to do all of these. If you want to skip forward to the next bubble, you can. I'm just walking through all of these. All right. B. We're going to find the problem and fix the bug again. Let's start with the first pink. That's going to be line seven. Go ahead and pause the video, examine the page, and see if you can find the errors in the page, the bug in the page. Okay. Hopefully, you found that this is missing the letter P. They did close it with the backslash, but they forgot to write the letter P. So let's correct that. All right. That's no longer pink. Now we only have pink at the very end. This is very similar to bubble A. The period should actually be a greater than sign. All right. So again, this was a period. That should be greater than. And that's it. Go ahead and click finish. We're going to do C. Here we go. Debug the subheadings. Debug the subheadings. Let's check it out. What is going on here? Here we go. We've got some pink in line 12 and line 14. Let's see what's going on. What is wrong here? What is the mistake? What's causing it to turn pink? I hope you said something about the tags being different numbers and the numbers have to be the same, right? They both have to be either H3 or H2. We just have to figure out which one it is. If we look at the rest of our code, eggs has H3, tadpole has H3, so froglet should also be H3. Let's go ahead and change that H2 to a 3. And it's going to be the same issue for the final stage of a life cycle of a frog. Instead of H2, that should be H3. And that's it. All right, so remember, whenever you use heading tags, your opening and closing tag should be the same size, the same number. Otherwise, it's going to give you a pink error code. Finish. And one more bubble here. Add a larger heading. Add a larger heading, D. Let's see. Add a large, larger heading at the top of the article. Okay, so we're going to add a title. Here's a great article on modes of transportation. Can you add a catchy large heading and title it? All right, so we have talk, article talks about different forms of transportation on land, sea, and air. Land, sea, air. Let's come up with the title. Come up with the title. All right, I'm going to call this How to Move Around. How to Move Around, right? Because it's about transportation. But I need to add a tag here to make this a big title. All right, so what tag should I use here? What tag should I use here? I hope you said H1, right? You said H1. I know you did. H1, because it's going to be our biggest main title. Okay? You can create your own title. You don't have to title it what I did. Just create your own title. Make sure you have H1 and that you close your tag. All right, let me click finish. And I'm actually going to have to pause this part one video here because I'm going to run out of time. Um, but you go ahead and make sure to watch part two to figure out how to do bubble nine and bubble ten. All right. See you in part two, everybody.